Hello friends, it is me, your favourite not a chef friend and host. What? Hello friends, tis me, Laura, your host and not a chef friend. Reviewing the internet's recipes to see if they're actually any good for us non-chefs. And today, we are attempting a brioche. Mmm, brioche. Kind of a last minute recipe review as we have entered lockdown. And the recipe I did want to do, I didn't have access to the ingredients as well as I had hoped. The, the supermarkets have been scavenged, friends! Luckily, I have a stockpile of basic baking ingredients that have accumulated from making these weekly videos. And what better time than now to attempt the brioche. Yes, that pastry bread loaf full of eggs and milk and butter. Known to be particularly difficult, labour intensive and time consuming. But hey, we survived the croissants. At this rate, we can survive anything. So let us see how easily this brioche is truly to make. How long will it take us? How much time and energy will it consume? And will us non-chefs end up with a delicious, buttery result? Let's find out. But first, all of my social medias, if you ever want to show more support, and if you enjoy food videos, review videos, and someone being chaotic, idiotic, and silly at times, please consider subscribing. Now let's go to the ingredients. Ingredients. Today we are guided by Chef Ju from Delish Kitchen. I did many hours scrolling through the internet <laughs> trying to find which recipe I wanted to review today. And this one had the most overwhelming amount of positive reviews. So hopefully at the end of today, we will be one of them. So what's the first thing we're gonna do? Warm up our milk. So it's nice and lukewarm flour. Milk goes in. So what we're creating here is this, it's kind of like a sponge and apparently this adds more flavor and texture to the brioche. So this is what our yeast is going to kind of ferment into. We're gonna mix this until it's combined and it's supposed to be quite stiff. So we wanna make sure we don't have any dry spots of that pesky flour. There you go. Well, aren't you a cute little thing? dough friend. Okay, so we're gonna now cover it with plastic wrap. Just let it sit, let it relax, you know, let it chill out. It's gonna have a good time for about 45 minutes to one hour. Oh no! Okay, ripping time. <coughs> Let's leave this for 45 minutes to one hour. I'll be back then. All right, friends, so it has been uh, about 50 minutes all together and this is what our spongy yeast concoction looks. And it's got the lovely bubbles and it's got a little wobble, a little shaky shake. Next, we're adding the other ingredients such as eggs and butter and flour and sugar and salt into this lovely looking dough. Now, this is the part where the labor intensive part comes into play. Recipes all say to use a stand mixer uh, with a dough hook attachment. So if you have one of those at home, your life will be a lot easier. <laughs> but you know on this channel, we don't have that kind of thing. So this will be done by hand. So the time frames of this will probably be longer because I'm doing it with my weak ass arms. There's a lot of mixing here, there's a lot of mixing. About 35 to 40 minutes all together. Okay, let me get the ingredients. Ingredients for me. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our eggs, sugar, so we're basically, we're basically adding everything but the butter. All right, so she mixes this for 25 minutes. I'll try and mix this the best I can. Check in with you then. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes of mixing. Look at my hand, can you see it? Is it all red? <laughs> so sore! <laughs> okay, and I think we're ready for the next 
step. Hers took 14 minutes and it took me 25 minutes to get to a similar consistency. Okay, so we're adding about a tablespoon of butter at a time. I've already chopped mine up into tablespoon sized pieces and they should be soft and squishy. All right, so we're adding one at a time, making sure that it's all fully incorporated before adding the next one. It takes her about eight minutes, so it'll probably take me about 40. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope, oh no. All right, let's, um, let us get mixing. All right, friends, a lot of blister friend. It's all silver. Butter is all incorporated. What took her eight minutes took me 23 minutes and 53 seconds. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, friends. This is a lot. This is probably the most labor intensive recipe to date. Like just doing one thing over and over again. My hands are shaking. If you think we're over mixing, we're not. <laughs> we're not even finished. Well, she does it for another eight to 10 minutes, which means we're gonna be doing it for longer, friends. I think what the French do is they create these really amazing, delicious desserts or food in general. And then they're like, oh, you like this? Well, now you have to Just suffer to make, make it yourself. yourself. I'm in so much pain. We're gonna keep mixing this probably at this rate for another 20 minutes until we can pass the window pane test where the dough is really stretchy and it almost is like you can see through it. Let's do that. I'll see you when we get to that. <laughs> Okay, I've taken, I've done about as much as I can take. I can't do anymore. About an hour and 25 minutes of mixing and I can't do it. And I've done the window pane test. I can't, I can't do anymore. And it's just gonna have to do. I have never on my entire channel had a recipe this physically challenging. I am in so much pain. I've got a blister, a giant blister on my thumb. My hands, they hurt. My body's shaking. I can't take any more mix. But that was just for the first like 45 to 50 minutes. Every time after that has been a mental challenge. A mental challenge of, is this even getting any better? When can I stop mixing this bloody dough? Keep going through the... The tiredness. This literally took me through the seven stages of grief. So now we have to let it rest. Thank God, because I want to rest too. Okay. Ugh, get off me. <laughs> I'm so mad at you. Let's cover it. And we're just gonna let it rest for an hour and a half. Well, at least I think it's an hour and a half because my laptop died and I haven't <laughs> gone and charged it because I've been too busy suffering. <laughs> Stay out of my sight. There's like this overwhelming relief that, that I've, I've made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> it's done. Uh, but it's not done. But it is done. That mixing part is done. And I'm just gonna leave it here and Go lie down. <laughs> ah! Okay, so, so far with this brioche recipe, we have tackled it with grace and dignity. So now that it was risen, it took longer than an hour for me because it's winter here, it's a bit chilly. But I also was concerned that if I put it in the oven with some hot water, I was concerned that the butter would leave the premises, you know, leave the dough like it did with the croissant recipe. But rice, it has done indeed. And now it's got the jiggle jiggles, wanna see? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for it to rise and jiggle. 
Wonderful. Now we get to roll it. Okay, so let's get some flour out for a floury surface. A little bit too. <laughs> this recipe's making me lose my mind. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do it this way. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut this dough in half. <gasps> okay, all right, all right. Come on now. <laughs> I know you like to eat together. And we divide this one into six equal pieces. We're gonna do the letter folding technique, like a little rectangle. Oh god. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> stop, stop stretching. There's <laughs> one here. And one here. Face it so it looks all long here. And then we stretch this out to be as flat as possible. And then we roll it into a nice tight roll. All right, so the first bunch has finished. These are all my ugly looking logs. <laughs> oh! So she says that she puts the bigger ones on the outside because the outside cooks the fastest. And that makes a lot of sense. So you are definitely a big one. You can come over here. <laughs> Get in there. Get all nice and snug. Wrap this up and it can take 45 minutes to an hour depending on how warm your room is hopefully afterwards we get to bake mm, yum. let me just do the second one and i'll be back when it's time to bake <laughs> cooking time hi friends i'm sorry about the lighting at what like 6 30 yeah this recipe took longer than one expected with all the final frontier. I can see the end and it looks glorious. Let me show you our little dough. Little dough, little dough. Doesn't look like it's risen much, but I did the finger test like this. Oops. And apparently if it stays like a dint and doesn't bounce back, then uh, they are ready for the bacon. Yeah, so I put my oven on to 190 degrees and it's just preheating now. So in the meantime, we're gonna do our egg wash, which consists of one lovely looking egg and a tablespoon of water. All right, so egg yolky time. Some salt. You put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Serving time! We are finally here. We are finally at eating time. Serving time! And this is what our beautiful, beautiful brioches look like. They've got that really deep, rich brown golden color. And I think they turned out pretty well. <laughs> I'm pretty happy that they turned out at all. But you know, this has been a lot of hard work today. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to try one. <laughs> Feed me now. Ooh. Ah. Well, she's fluffy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's got, you can see those little curls in here from where we rolled it. That is super delicious. That was so fluffy and so nice. Like you can feel it. Like when you touch it, it feels <laughs> still really delicate. I just want to go harder. <laughs> mm. Brioche time. Honestly. I'm so proud. This is the first time I've ever made a brioche before. It came out as a brioche. Soft, like it's like a little pillow of goodness. In terms of whether I would make this again, I would if I had a stand mixer, but without a stand mixer. 
achievement unlocked yay us we can add our positive review onto june's recipe with making brioche and i have to say i think june did a really good job with instructing the video not just saying what you're doing but also explaining why and everything was so like to the point but detailed because come on first time making brioche and this is the result but yeah i hope you liked this video and i hope you liked joining me and seeing me and pain and demise and grief but you know it was all worth it <laughs> And with that, I'm gonna go put some pajamas on and make a cup of tea and have some more brioche. Okay. I'll see you next week for another recipe review. Bye.